Unreal. So now what? They got a, a warrant out for him, right? Um, I I think so. Um, when he came back here, because I, you know, he begged and begged for another chance, you know, and I've given him many chances, and he always ruins them. But he begged and begged for another chance. So because of my mom, you know, she was like, "Please give him another chance." And so I was like, "All right." And then he goes and does this. You know, like he can't, he can't do anything without a bunch of drama and a bunch of. You know, he has to leave all the time. And that's, you know, it's like, dude, we know what you're doing. Yeah. You, you, just yeah. Don't, you don't just leave. You know, and it's like, I look around and I'm like, what is he pawn to mine, you know? It's like, well, we're not that stupid, dude. Seriously. Exactly. And, you know, anytime he gets here, it's a big drama thing, you know, and it's around his kids. And I, I won't let his kids see it anymore. Cause yeah. They don't just... No, I'm in control, and they get to have the life that at least I want them to have. You know, if it's not great, but it's not dealing with a junkie father. Yeah. Wow, TMI. Way t way too much TMI. <laughs> no. Now you're up near Niagara. Do you do ever do any fishing? You've got trout up there. Oh hell sure. yeah! Trout, salmon bass oh my god i remember uh, the salmon runs yo oh wow then we got smelts my dad's pissed about that because they cut it down to one bucket a day that's all you can get can he just get a bigger bucket <laughs> it don't work like that i remember coming home with like Eight, nine buckets. That's all we did was clean the smelts. I hated that. <laughs> that sounds awesome. I uh, I spent my summers in Oregon growing up, so I got to learn from some true fly fishermen. And you know, they would just cast, and then he would swing the the line over me, and I'd take the fish off of it and put it in a bucket, and then he'd cast again on those flies. And it was just one after another. It was amazing. Yeah. I enjoy fly fishing. I just never get to do it anymore. I never got into it. I just learned from a bunch of old guys. So that was always kind of the thing that I was like, hell yeah, that's awesome. Like bait casters and, and all that. You know, I live in Tennessee, so we got to do that a lot as kids. But there, there's something different about fishing in a river. Looks pretty good. Oh, you can't see because of the damn light. You wrist scared me too. What's that? Is it, you were holding your wrist 30 seconds ago. Well, after a while, your hand, your wrist starts cramping up and it's like Arr. that looks amazing dude how's your leg is it healing oh, up that, that's better much better it's just when i wear uh you know what mucks are no they're like really good winter boots and they come up all the way almost to my knees and they're really warm well i can't wear them I found out the hard way because it just rubbed against my whole leg like I'll show you like the boot goes all the way up to here and it just constantly rubbed against that and I'm like oh I can't do it Would I lose you again? No, I oh, you're on oh. a delay, dog. Mm. I'm thirty seconds behind you. Yeah, I keep forgetting. Or however long it is. Seems like yours is a little bit longer. Have you disabled the extra um, the extra delay in your uh, settings? I think so. That's in Twitch, right? 
Yeah, in Twitch they have that setting. God damn it. Hang on. Hang on, let me check. I, I just ignore the delay just because if I had people talking to me, it'd be a little different, but I just ignore the delay because I just watch the chat and what I'm doing live. Yeah. Don't worry about it. What in the <clears throat> hell yeah. are you guys doing here? Nah, nah, nah. We're waiting on you. We were waiting on you all night. You said you'd be you here. You just show up here, hang out in general chat. Dude, dude, go back Bruh. to your freaking, uh, what, what is that game he's plays? Bruh. What is it? Go Overwatch. Go there we go. go Overwatch back. is awesome. Do you, uh, Xbox or PC? Go back to your PC? Overwatch. PC. <laughs> Are you on, uh, PC or, uh, Xbox? I'm on the PC. Uh, All right. How you doing, buddy? I don't even own a console. That dragon's doing a stream where he yells at his kids all night. Yeah, look at him. He brought all his toys down here, Drew. Hold on. Look, he's hanging out, chilling by himself. Tight. He's good when he's by himself. Right, boy? <laughs> oh, Drew, the, um, the Emporium, that's... It said Gay Street, but that's not South Gay Street. So is that like behind the old city? Uh, yeah. So it's over. Um, so you know where the the train yard's at, right? The yeah, old, yeah, yeah. old depot. It's basically just over the Gay Street. Uh, I don't want to. Do I want to call it the bridge? Right, like Jackson Street has yeah, that yeah. same bridge, where the underground used to be. Yeah, it's like right on top of the underground. Oh, nice. Okay. But it's in that art district there on Gay Street. Can't believe we have an art district. Is it gate or gay? gay oh, hush. Gay, hush. gay Street. Wow. <laughs> it's the most important street in Knoxville. <laughs> Everything is on Gay Street. Yeah, it's, it's basically the main drag. Like, it's what all the parades are on and everything else. You know, over by that Gay Street, you know where it is. Are you disrespecting our town, dog? Dude, because you guys don't wear belt buggles. <laughs> We're not. I think you're a lot more redneck than either one of us. The, wait, what? Yeah, what's the story here with this belt buckle? That's, what, that, that's what you should do. Make a belt buckle. I mean, I don't I would. Oh, him. But then what? Just make a belt buckle, hang it up. I want a belt buckle that also has the place for my uh, my pistol and my uh, revolver to go in. Believe it or not, Yo, Sam and Sam. My dad had a belt buckle. It had a little uh, belly gun. You pull it off. Sounds dangerous. Not really. It was one shot belly gun. I'd shoot my dick off trying to do it. <laughs> Hang on a minute, I'm going to the bathroom. So, what the hell is a regular one-shot belly gun, you know, as you need. Yeah. So what do you think of the exhibit, Drew? I think it's pretty good. I, I was Honestly, I was surprised that they had as much stuff in there as they did. You, you kept pointing your nipple towards the wall, so... Yeah, it's like that shirt, like, you know, my my pocket isn't aligned right proper, so it's hard to... That whole that whole interaction is really peculiar. Like trying to stream in public. Well, it was fun to see. It was really fun to see. 
but it's like I don't know. There's 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 additional work to be done. I guess is there is what I'm trying to say. Like to to make that be a thing. See, back in the day, we didn't have phones with cameras that did that. I used to carry around a whole laptop with a webcam. Uh, yes, that's the that's what I'm hoping to avoid. Yeah, that was kind of it was all right, but it was a pain in the ass. I mean, I you know I could t- I could I could totally. I could stream directly from uh, a tablet or another device like that. The problem is, like, it's really hard to get. Like the like the camera needs to be its own thing, and yeah. the and the cell phone needs to be its own thing. But like, nobody makes a fucking corded laptop or a corded camera for your fucking smartphone. So yet. Yeah, we'll have USB ports eventually, or something smaller. Well, I mean, you could do, you could still do uh, USB Go uh, or US, USB to Go from a from a cell phone, and and probably get it to show up. But I have no, I don't think you would. The drivers would work. I would assume that they wouldn't. Maybe they now, do. Fuck, I don't now know. Now, can you look? That. Can you look and see how much data you used tonight while you were streaming mobile? Oh, I've got un, I've got unlimited data, so I don't. I don't get right, I'm just interested to see how much you actually used. Oh, um. Now, everybody, said, everybody else says you're in IT, so if you don't mind me asking, what do you do? You already told me this, your security. No, that's Iggy. Iggy security. What do you do? Uh, it's just pretty pretty open ended stuff, but I, I'm one of two guys at a, at a dealership group, car dealership group in Knoxville. So I do everything from desktop shit to uh, email management, uh, network, network config. Uh, all right, I get you. No, I got you. You're... It's like it's like all over the place. Like if, if it plugs into a wall, they ask me about it. All right, good old system, man. I'm in the same spot. Yeah. Why is in it this not terribly really long ago? Somebody was like, "Hey, what do you want to do with this?" And they pointed to a uh, they pointed to a paper shredder. <laughs> and I was like, "Why are you asking me about a paper shredder?" And they're like, "Oh, I don't know. It's not a computer. Leave me alone." So do you not get to outsource anything? Uh, we outsource some physical stuff, like like we use Prince Technologies for running running cabling, for instance. Oh, Prince is great. Yeah, they're pretty good. Uh, yeah, they kind of they kind of did a shitty job here recently, but. Uh... Oh, I can send you a picture of our network room. Oh, oh no, my exactly. god, it's so awesome! They no, did ours, such no, a good ours, job. Ours is a total clusterfuck. It's been like years and years and years in the making. And it's it's a total mess, but I mean, so just to, just so you understand the scope of my job, we are still running a Windows 2000 domain controller. Uh, so you just they're yeah. not they won't spend money, dude. Shoestring budgets are the worst. I, I mean, they're I don't know, like we are like very near to finally replacing it, but <clears throat> but yeah, they took their time for sure. Wow. That's gonna be a hell of an upgrade. Are you gonna stagger it? Nope. You think it'll can it'll handle it? You go to two thousand twelve? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, there's not a, you know we we only have like a well I guess we'll have one hundred and twenty mailboxes after after this rollout, so it's not like a crazy crazy amount. It's a lot more than I have, and we're on up to date stuff because. They occasionally give us a budget. Well, you we only have a hundred or so. Just I've worked in those situations where they don't really want to spend money. And it's just so tight. Yeah, I, don't, I mean, I don't, it's whatever. It's fine. I'm, you know, I'm not. That's that's the one thing. Like, I'm I'm well past my like excitement for technology phase of my IT career. Like, I don't care what we're using or as long as it works, I don't give a shit. So it's like, I'm, like I remember back in the day, I used to get excited about a new laptop or, or something like that to use, but <laughs> I'm willing past that now. It's basically like, as long as you don't bug me and I can get my work done and then I can just dick around on the internet for the rest of the day. <laughs> great. Thanks. Our plan. Yeah, no, if, That's where I'm at in my IT career. <laughs> if we have nothing to do, then we've done everything right. Mm-hmm. There you go. It's about the that's about the time they start questioning questioning what they need you for. 
Well, let's 